goodness, with face, Pat, and Tiz. So, money, power, and sex. What controls and drives you? In today's society, most are driven by these three things, man, money, power, sex, especially when it comes to me. Um, so I just want to bring a couple of things to the to the forefront and just discuss these three topics and where do you guys feel that they land on your spectrum, um, the public spectrum, and just each one individually. So first, what aspect do you say is driven or by each concept, each, each one of you guys? Um, all right, I'll jump out there first. Let Pat think about it. Um, I'll be honest. I would say none of them. Like, I'm a weirdo, dude. Like, that ain't what drive me. What drive me is personal contentment. So if I, I guess if I had to put a label on it, I guess I would consider that power over self. So like how much autonomy I have, how much, um, power I have to determine my own next steps in life is more important to me than it, than power over others or money or sex. Like, I feel like, for one, I'm married. And so that means for me, for me and my wife both, like, that that was a contract that when we want sex, that shit on demand, like, fucking uh, DVR. So, like, it ain't like I got no problem there. And then as far as the money, I look at money as a tool. So like, if, am I able to do the things that make me happy? As of right now in my life, yes. Now, am I getting ready for things that I want to be able to do in the future? Yes. But today in my life, the amount of money that I make on my paycheck affords me the life that I want for today. So like I'm content there and then what was it? Money, power, sex. Like yeah, sex, money, power. Yeah, that's it. Like I'm not really pressed for nothing. Like I, I think in my younger days it was probably sex which is why I missed out on the money and the power. Like I had positions of power but they weren't necessarily ones that I looked for, cultivated, or wanted. They were more like, oh, well, somebody saw you like that at one point, so you got to wear it, but it ain't necessarily what you was trying to do, if that makes sense. Okay. okay. Basically, if there's, uh, are any of those elements driving me? That's pretty much your question, Base. Mm -hmm. I would say more so like having the self-awareness to control those things that would drive me pretty much like on an instinctual level like mm -hmm. like of course I want money okay. <laughs> of course I want lots of money so I can do whatever the hell I want of course, I would want the power to do whatever the hell I want. And of course, I would want to have sex when I want it. Uh, or whatever. <laughs> of, of course, that's a, that's a given. Now, how is that? Is it logically available for me to grab the extent of these things? Usually, if I go off to the try to go after the extent of like the extreme of these elements or whatever, I'm gonna get myself in some shit. Money, <laughs> power, and sex, what you need in life. <laughs> yep, now I'm gonna get myself in the shit. If you had respect in there, yeah, I could probably lean You're on that. You sleep at night, whatever. you can sleep in life. <laughs> but, but, I mean, <laughs> shit, you, I mean, you need money. You need money as a tool, just like Tiz said, or whatever. I would probably say if I was to choose oh, three oh. out of the three or whatever, rest in peace, DMX, um, I would probably go for power. <laughs> I would probably go for power more. But power, 
but not power in a way of like corruption, just power over self and power over the environment I'm in. That's real. That's real. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Power over the environment. And yes, okay. I like so like you yes. can influence things around you, but not necessarily directly not, influence not, your path in life. Not not power that would corrupt me into something that's different than what I am, but Respect. power Respect. to in advance what I'm already am. I am. And that's why I'm so scared of power. But we'll get to that after face to the chance. So. Man, I'm trying to be super saiyan Padawan. I don't know y'all about y'all, but I can do. That. <laughs> we'll I figure out what that means later and whatnot. Um, but in, in sex, yes, my answer is yes. That's it. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> no. With me, of course, I'm married, so sex really can't draft me because I, I, I'm guaranteed. So that's that. Um, if I had to choose between money and power, I'd say about the tap because um, I get up and go to work every day because. I'm getting paid. I'm not doing it for free. So me knowing I'm getting a, a paycheck is driving me to go to work. The and the concept of power, um, I view it kind of differently. Just like both of you did view it kind of differently in the concept of power. Um, I don't want power over people. Um, more like power over self or power over the ability and the abilities of myself. You feel me? Um, the power to push myself further, the power to attain my goals without my own personal pitfalls. I mean, in that relation, power, yes. So always trying to attain a, a higher level of that. That cool, but as far as one or the other, I would say money and power equally would drive me on a day-to-day basis because what I want, I have to use my power to get myself better to get it. And when I attain it, when I obtain it, the, the money from it, it's going to satisfy me too. So I view it like that. Gotcha. But um, just as far as the, the next question for, for these three, these three concepts, um, what do you feel that each of these offer in the sense of happiness in the terms of long lasting versus temporary pleasures? Oh, um, I think as far as the most long lasting one could possibly be power because if wielded it correctly, it's going to generate the other two and it's going to allow you to set up the most things to perpetuate said success. Um, I feel like if you can get a lot of money real quick, but like you have lottery people that hit like for tens of millions and then go broke because they didn't know how to wield the power that the money gave them. You feel me? So I think mm-hmm. that like the other two come from power. Like I think at the end of the day, the the other two can give you power, but they also come from power. Fruit like to the you, yeah, like you can you can get you can get all of them from each other, but I feel like the easiest one to get is power because you can get influence, social power, political influence, and power without necessarily having the other two. You you don't necessarily have to be rich or have a way with the ladies or the fellas or whatever you're into um, to be powerful. I feel like with the other two, you got to have something like to get sex, you got to have money or power. Otherwise, the opposite, like even if it's on a small level of like between you and this particular person, your power, the amount of power you have is more than them and they accept it and they roll with you and they like that. They're attracted to that. You feel me? Like, but like one of the main things women always say is they like confidence. So that comes from having some 
level of power, whether it's power over yourself, power over your environment, power over your planet, power over, you have power over something. So I would say power is the most vital of the three. And then it's the easiest to perpetuate long-term. The other two are fleeting. Like you can have sex, but you could also have a car accident or be riding your bike and or ride a motorcycle and fuck up and get into an accident and you never have the ability to have sex again and never have the ability to go to work again. Mm-hmm. So now your ability to generate a really extreme income and you know what I mean? Like, so that there's a lot of circumstances that come with the other ones, but power, I may not be the richest pol- motivational speaker, but I can use this accident where I can't get the other two to at least generate power where I'm influencing others to do something better with their lives or whatever the case may be. But how was the easiest to attain and the, the easiest to sustain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like uh, out of all the three or whatever, power can is at risk with the other two. Like, if you have power, but somebody has more money or whatever, they can put in a movement to take away your power. You have power and you're a sex fanatic or whatever, and it comes out pretty much. Media scandal can take away that power pretty much. It's like okay. you got to have, a, if you have more, you got to have power. Keep powers contingent upon the other two. Kind of yeah, the, your, the, the way you balance the other two off is how you have longevity with power, pretty much. Like, well, not completely how you have longevity, but it's, it's you know what I'm saying, it, it, the way you balance off that, it, it, it helps with your longevity when it comes to power, pretty much. I dig what you're saying. It's like the yin to my yang, like where I'm saying... Uh the sex and the money come from the power. You're more saying that like once you get said power, if you can't control the sex or the money, that will take away your power. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Like you can, like you said, you can get money. It's like some of them, it's like you, you can't have sex unless you have money or power or whatever. But once you have said sex, it could take away your money and power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and if you, I, and depending mm-hmm. on which one of those mm-hmm. three you go after, like that does say a lot about your character. Like, I feel like those that go after sex and money, because those two things are the most passed around and the most dirty of the three, those are the three that get that make the dumbest decisions. Because yeah. they're, they're the three that require the least amount of intellect. Like you can hit the lottery and be dumb as fuck and be rich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can fuck around and you be ugly and somebody else be just as ugly as you and that shit just, y'all get drunk and you end up, y'all both have sex. <laughs> Y'all normally wouldn't have never got with nobody, but that night y'all both got lucky and got some sex. So sexy, like, but power, like, power requires work, power requires planning, power requires determination, power requires a certain level of resilience, power requires a certain level of accountability. Not necessarily. Like, no matter what your integrity level is, and that's the other part of power that, that determines on whether you can control those other two, your integrity, but like, no matter what your integrity is, your power, you always will have to be accountable to something. So I think that like out of the three power, even though the other two can take it down, if you are willing to put in the work to really focus on the power, usually you will obtain the discipline necessary to sustain the other two if that makes mm-hmm. sense it, it kind of also depends on how much privilege you got along with that power because mm-hmm. 
because another because one person with the same amount of money or whatever or whatnot um maybe even the same amount of power or whatnot they could do something fucked up maybe something sexual something crazy or whatever and depending on their privilege or whatever uh or how much said power they have through their privilege, they can probably get away with it a couple more times than the average person that just got said power and money. Indeed. So Indeed. it's, it's kind of like playing how the cards you dealt and seeing which one and, and making sure you're not addicted to one or, one or the other. Big facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. That part. No, that part. Just to bring something different to the table. Um, those who obtain or strive and strive and obtain one of the one or all three of these concepts versus someone who is per se born into it, who is blessed with all three of these concepts, who values it more at the end of the day, if it's taken away. I think you know what I'm gonna say. I think the person that is born with it values it more. Because hmm. the person that worked for it, they know how to get it again. So even though they'll be devastated, they know that okay, I know mm -hmm. this is attainable. I can do this again. The person that was born into it they might not have developed the skills to do that again. So that might have been their only entry into that particular lifestyle. And now when that is taken away from them, they don't know how to get back there on their own. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's more of a, it's more of a, it's more of a chance that a person that has worked for said, whatever said goal is to keep that, that it is for a person that was naturally getting it. Like a person that had to learn how to talk to the ladies or the fellas or the whatever you're into, you feel me? Um, whoever had to, right, whoever had to learn how to actually be social and get the people that they wanted from actual being themselves and actually having being social and knowing how to navigate social situations those people are usually going to be able to sustain that and be able to get another person or another person if shit goes wrong. Then a person who was just born with beauty and then that beauty get taken away. Like you can't take away somebody's learned skills unless you make them a vegetable where they can't remember any of their things that they've learned. But like, as long as a person got their mind, a learned skill is always going to be more valuable than a natural one because like, it's like in the NBA, right? If you look at the best players, the best players were those that were skilled and had natural ability. Because when that natural ability mm -hmm. went away, they were able to still fall back on a fadeaway or a sky hook, or I could post you up, or I knew how to fake you, fake you this way and lean you this way and hit the assist off this way. You know what I'm saying? Like they knew they were, they had, skills to fall back on that would sustain them even when their natural gifts started to fade. And I think life is the same way. Like my ability to converse with somebody and actually sustain a conversation, that's gonna go way further than somebody who just looks good and people wanna talk to because they look good. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when we're all old, and we still have our mental capacities, you haven't developed the skill that I have. So I'm going to still be making friends. I'm going to still be able to navigate my situation. I'm going to still be able to set shit up. I'm going to still be living my best life while you are struggling because you have sustained on your looks. And now when those looks have faded, you don't, you haven't built that same practice up. So I think it's definitely a case of when it comes to any of those three things or all of those three things or whatever it is, if you're chasing something, your ability to work hard for it is going to pay off way more than somebody who was mm -hmm. naturally given that, especially if you're if you really got the heart to work for it. 
Now that don't apply to somebody who just want it. Like I want to be the Casanova, but I ain't willing to actually take the time to like think about what women want to talk about or what's wrong. What, what, what am I doing that's turning women off? You know what I'm saying? I, that ain't gonna work if I want to be the big bank role, but I ain't willing to actually understand what the people that's making money are doing. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work if I want power, but I'm not actually looking at and researching what power brokers are doing and then implementing those things in my life and sticking to it. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like faith without works is dead. So I don't care what you're chasing. If you ain't willing to put that grind in for it, whether it be the ooh na na do I did it. Or the or, or the or the or the money money or the or the you know what I'm saying the power like it's going to come down to your work ethic and your ability to put that grind in you know what I mean like like think about this face how many people growing up right I'm talking about even way back to middle school you think about it was like yeah I'm gonna do this when I'm married I'm gonna do that when I'm married and think about how many of them are still married and how, and, and look at us. It, at the mm-hmm. end of the day, who wants to get married and who stays married all comes down to who puts that work in. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. who wants to get rich and who stays rich is who's willing to put that work in. You got a bunch of athletes out there. Some of them are now richer than they were when they played. Some of them are now broke and working jobs like us. So it's work, man. Work, 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 work. Yes. You feel? All that, all that work. All that work. You got to say on the I think those people that were born with it or born with said power or born with said privilege or whatever, it's easier for them to be corrupted than a person that worked for it or whatever because if you're like used to that privilege you're used to that powerful wow and it took that away and then somebody came along dangling it back in your face again mm-hmm. or whatever you probably go after it I pretty much agree. i agree on that mm-hmm. i also i also think on, on that same line of thinking if you're already in power and you've gotten it because of your work ethic you know what it's like to go back to something. Mm -hmm. So because of that, or whatever it is, you know what it's like to go back to not having that said asset. So you're more likely to be protective of it and think about your moves as opposed to somebody who, well, this was just given to me. This ain't shit. It's like Mm -hmm. a kid with a toy, like a kid with a toy. Like what I noticed with my son, right? He now has like, you know, he's, you know, he gets to the age where people give him money and cards and shit like that. So we don't take it from him. We let him get a bank. He got a coin thing and he got his own bank account. He put his money in and he got his little wallet now. And he put his little dollar bills in there. And when we go to the store, he take his wallet with him. Mm -hmm. What I notice is he's more protective of them little dollar toys that he bought himself than the hundred dollar toys that he gets for Christmas from grandma or auntie or me or his mom or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, and it's because he didn't work for those other things. For those, for that dollar bill, he did some chores. He he got some good grades in school. He he pushed himself to do something, you know what I mean? And because of that, he spent his hard earned money. And when you spend what you earn, when you put your, your sweat equity into something, you cherish your boy. So like you more, you more likely to take care of, like if you're a person that like, I never got girls growing up, right? So I've learned how to talk to women. And over time as a man, I've become a person that now I get a lot of women, but it's because, not necessarily because of my looks or whatever, but it's because of how I talk to them and how I can relate to them. Mm-hmm. You more likely to cherish that relationship with a woman and take care of it because you scared to go back to no Punani Larry. No uh, Punani. You feel me? As opposed to dude that ro- grew up Rico Suave and he got all the girls and all of a sudden he have a car accident and his shit get fucked up and he not cute no more to the girls. Now he, he, he looking like, what the fuck do I do? 
how do I sustain keeping them girls? Because now the thing that I banked on is gone because I didn't develop no skills to really cultivate relationships because I didn't have to. So I think pressure make diamonds, man. It busts pipes where it make diamonds. And if you're willing to not be a pipe and you're willing to be a piece of coal and form into that diamond, you're good. And that's whether you chasing pussy, whether you chasing money, or whether you chasing that good power. And I think it, it all comes back to that work ethic and that willingness to actually do the work to get it. Mm -hmm. When you earn it, it's always better. When you're giving it, that shit always fuck you over quick. You don't appreciate Damn shit right. as much. You feel Damn me? Damn right. Damn right. That car, that car mom Duke gave you don't hit as hard as that first one that you paid for it and the notice in your name or that you paid for outright cash because you put in, you, you, every dollar that went into the car that you bought, you saw that sweat equity. You felt, you felt that dollar. <sighs> you feel me? Somebody else shit, it don't hit the same. No, I don't. You never do. Mm -hmm. Money, on. power, and sex, which you need a lot. <laughs> <laughs>